What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some NBA 2K20 My Team gameplay. Loving this mode, and we have a classic. Yes, you heard that correctly. We have a classic, and man, I'm not going to lie. I thought this dude was going to, woo Okay, Penny. I thought this dude was going to blow me out, man. I know he had a bunch of Galaxy Opals. Like, I, I got quite a few. I got about four, so I can't, you know, really complain about people having too many. You know, I don't start all of them. I'm trying to have some players on the bench in my second lineup. But, uh, yeah, this is a classic. He got out on a good start to me, though. I mean, he got <laughs> he got out on a good start. He really got on a good start. Um, this dude was complicated because, because of this guy right here, man. This dude, number two, Cole Anderson. Look at this, man. He dunked on David Robinson and uh, what that was that, Gilbert Arenas at the same time? That's part of why I can't take this game seriously because there's no way in the world that this dude right here, then he knocks down a wild three. Like, these wild threes these dudes be hitting, man, they be off the chain, bro. You guys got to understand when you're playing this game, and I know this is not the best game, but when you're playing this game, you know, people are going to go on runs. Just like in real life basketball, people are going to go on runs. You got to accept that. But you also can go on runs as well. I'm not going to lie, there was times where I was down like 16 or 15, and I was like, man, I don't know if I can come back. I'm not going to say that good at this game. But I, I've came back, man, and ended up winning the game, man. I've, <laughs> it happens, even in my team, which is which which shocks me sometimes. But it, it's just wild. He got Rick Smith, though. I love how he has Rick Smith, man. I like his team. He got a nice squad, man. He got Rick Smith. He got the Cole Anderson dude, who I've never played with. Um, Giannis, he got Giannis on his team. He got a couple guys, man. D-Rob, man, knocking down the three. That's the thing that you got to love about Robinson, man. Like I said, in the lineup update, man, he can knock down that three, man. You got to love that, man. They got this dude really getting dunked on. Like, they're like, come on, man. David Robinson is a way better defender than that. I just don't understand, man. The GP gets to left. GP had 14. The GP had 14. I'm finally figuring out how to use him. Penny Hardaway going to the cup, getting fouled, man. Penny is a beast in this game. I just love playing this game. I just love playing this game because I, you can get these players, man. To be honest. I would like to update by Akeem Olajuwon, though. I thought there was a, a Galaxy Opal Akeem, but maybe I was mistaken. But I seen they had Antonio McDice. I would love to get McDice. McDice was somebody that I really, really enjoyed watching as a kid, man. Too bad he got injured, man. It was it was wild, man. Because I, I really think if he didn't get injured, he had the potential to put possibly be the best power forward of all time if he didn't get injured. He was, like, that nice, man. I, I wish I could show you guys the highlights, man. But just look him up on YouTube. We gotta have some YouTube highlights. When he like when he first got into the league, we played on different nuggets. As Chris Webber knocks down the three, he was a he was a beast, man. <laughs> he was an absolute monster. But anyway, you know we gotta figure out a way. We're back in the game. You know what's funny? We gotta figure out a way to win the game, of course. But you know what's wild? We're in the game and. I didn't even realize I was up at this point. If you can believe that, I didn't even realize I was up, man. Like, at the lab right here with GP, man, taking Cole Anderson to the basket. That's how it should be any, every time. These dudes really can't hold GP, bro. Like, sit, like seriously, man. Like, like in the paint, and it went, GP GP had a weird way of getting people off the dribble. But look, look at that right there. Like, that's a crossover, and he just... I, but that's Gilbert, though. See, Gilbert's not the best defender on this game. See, Gilbert's on this team really because I like him. Then he knocks down this, and it's a tie ball game. Man, it's like that dude, Cole Anderson, he was the one that really, really killed me. Uh, I mean, Giannis gets a couple key buckets, but Cole Anderson really, really killed me, man. But can we look, look at this, man. Grandma Ma from, from Africa. Bam! <laughs> I'm knocking that down for the for the lead. I'm just like, man, this this game was nuts. But Larry Johnson can, can, can make that shot. He was able to make that shot. Matter of fact, he hit a game winner like that one time from that, from that deep, but on the other side of the court. See, I, I, I remember how these players play, but then you got you know you got guys hitting that. It's just like, man, this is wild. Um, they, people been talking about the the green lit, and if you don't get green lit, you should miss it. I don't think that should be the case. What I think should happen is that I think things should be more practical. You know, what I mean, I, I, I like I said, say Gilbert, so he knocks this down, but Gilbert can make that. Everybody is not a, a deep threat shooter, man. They got guys out here shooting from deep. That's not really deep threat shooter. They should make things more practical, whether it's green light or not. The green, the thing about the green light, man, when they when they get the green light, it makes it that you automatically make it. I think they need to take that out of the game, man. I, I really do, man. No, this, it, I don't. They need, they need to find some way, which I, which can't be that hard. As Derek Fisher, he starts popping off on here to make it so that it's just more feasible. Um, without getting too into it, let's talk about the game. <laughs> but right here, you know, we're down two. We, we get the dunk right there with GP tying the ball game up in this classic. 
Right here, he does a nice little pull-up. I thought he was going to miss that, but he makes that, man. Good shot by Derek Fisher. Derek Fisher definitely was very capable of hitting that. He's up two. He gets the ball again. Passes out to this guy. I don't know who this guy is, but he knocks down a three. I'm like, man, you got to be kidding me. He knocked down a three from New Zealand. He's up five. Fast break now. He's up seven. I'm like, oh, my goodness, man. We got to find a way to come back, man. Usually this would be the end for some people, but we got GP, baby. We got GP, man. So we go to the right with GP, get a couple free throws, man. <laughs> GP, he's kind of like, you know, he talk noise. That's, that's how he was in real life, man. He was a huge trash talker, man. I love this guy, man. So now we're only down five. Derek Fisher with the rock at the top of the key, circling around, gets a green lift from deep. Now he's up eight. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, man. Somebody get him, man. <laughs> As we go to the rack again, GP passed two to first. You know I love seeing that. My goodness, man. That, that, this, just for moments like that is why I love this game. Okay. Olajuwon with, with the putback. A good rebound. Olajuwon, key rebound against the putback. He knocks down some key free throws. We was down eight. You know, if he makes sense, now we're, we're down four. And see how fast you can get back into the game. <laughs> so, you know, you just, you just can't give up, man. Some of the real life just can't give up. He had the ball again. Passes to Rick Smith. Somehow he had got it open. He gets the end. one. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. How did he get that? He's up six. Now he's up seven. I'm like, man, how in the world are we going to find a way to get back in this game? You got to give it to Penny. Penny with the jumper, man. He doesn't miss from that range. I'm trying to tell you, man. This doesn't seem like it. Keem, top of the key. Pass it to GP. GP makes a move, goes to the buck. <laughs> Dunks on it. I just get, it's hard for me not to get hyped when I see that. I love Gary Payton so much, man. My goodness, man. I, I, I'm, I'm doing too much. Let me chill. We down three. Boy, Penny again, man, with the nice layup, man. Penny, yeah, but he was so nice around the rim, though. Look at that. Look at that separation he got on GP, though. For real? He's up four. Rick Smith with the ball again, kicks it out to this guy. I don't know who that guy is, but he got the dunk. Almost got the dunk, but Kim blocks it. Kemp again, he gives it to Penny. Penny going to the rack. He doesn't, he doesn't find anything. He gives it to Akeem. Akeem knocking down the shot. I'm like, come on, man. That's the dream, man. Don't disrespect that, man. Nice little move right here by Penny. Off the uh, pick and roll. Finds Michael Red, and we take the lead. We up one, man. See see how quick you can get back into the game, man. He just got to keep fighting. Giannis. Oh, no. He did not dunk on my boy like that. No, he didn't, man. So now he's, he's up to... We got to find a way to do something. The pick and roll worked last time. I said, let's try it again. Kick it out to Kim. I'm like, oh, no. This is not who I wanted at the top of the key. So we get it to Michael Red. Kim sets a pick for Red. I wanted to throw the oop, but I didn't think it was there because Kim didn't go all the way. So I took a very high quality shot that Michael Red can make. And uh, he doesn't make it. So we end up having to foul Cole Anderson. And if he makes these two, you know what? We're out. So he makes that one. But he misses this one. I was like, okay. We could go with some gas, man. Let's go. We ain't really let us keep it moving. Usually they back up a little bit. I was just going to pull up. But that was a smart move by my opponent, man. I had to give it to Kemp. Yeah, I was like, oh, man. I had to give it to Kemp. That was a good move by him, man. He clicked on. Usually they back off. So I was like, yeah, if he backs up one more step, I'm just going to pull up with Michael Rigg. Michael Rigg is really capable of hitting that shot, man. But, oh, man. Maybe I should have called timeout. I felt like I was in a good rhythm. So I said, seven seconds is a lot of seconds, man. Let's just... Let's just go with it. I figured, you know, he back up. I figured I would catch him off guard. But next time, I'm, I'm going to try to call a timeout. I got to remember to call a timeout. I think I made that mistake before in previous games. Uh, so I, I got I to gotta remember to call a timeout, man. But, you know, shout out to my opponent, man. He played a great game, man. Um, if I'm being honest, I think he was better than me. I'm not going to lie. I think he was better. But I play well, at least he um, he knew how to play the game better. See, I'm he, he knew how to hit those deep shots with people, like, consistently and all that. See, that's, that's, that's like, kind of out of my realm. I take a deep shot if I feel like it's a good shot, you know. <laughs> you know whatever whatever makes sense to me, I just do it. But I, I have fun, man. That's, I, don't, I don't take the game, you know, too seriously. I'm having a lot of fun. You can hear the joy in my voice as I'm commentating this, playing with my favorite players of all time. To me, I think that's what this mode is all about. Your boy, 